Are you ready for today's Maratón Mental? Today, we'll explore Glencoe Spanish Level 1, Buen Viaje. Get ready to practice your Spanish language skills and learn more about the culture of the Spanish-speaking world. Vámonos! You'll find the answers to today's game in Buen Viaje. Bienvenidos a Maratón Mental. Today's questions will come from Chapter 1, Un Amigo o Una Amiga. The game will be broken up into three rounds. Round one will test how well you know the vocabulary and structure from chapter one. Your team will have 10 seconds to decide on your answer and hold up your card. If you need to, you can pause the program between questions for extra time. Now it's time to divide up into teams. Be sure to select one person as scorekeeper. We'll pause for a moment to let you organize your teams. Let's begin round one. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. The question is, ¿Cómo es la muchacha? ¿Es rubia? ¿Es moreno? ¿Es morena? The answer to the question, ¿Cómo es la muchacha? is C. Sí, es morena. You used an adjective ending in A to describe a girl. Scorekeepers, please give 10 points to teams that gave the correct answer. The next question is, ¿Cómo es el muchacho? ¿Es alto y rubio? ¿Es bajo y moreno? ¿Es rubio y perezoso? The answer to the question, ¿Cómo es el muchacho? is B. Es bajo y moreno. That's 10 points if your team answered B. And it's time for the bonus Bonanza question. Double points if you get the right answer to this one. Vámonos. The Bonanza question is, ¿De dónde es el muchacho? ¿Es de Puerto Rico? ¿Es alto y guapo? ¿Es Manuel Rojas? The answer to the question, ¿De dónde es el muchacho? is A. Es de Puerto Rico. You say es de to tell where someone is from. If you said A, you get 20 points for this bonus bonanza question. Bien hecho. The next question is, ¿Qué es? Es una escuela. Es un alumno. Es una amiga. The answer to the question, ¿Qué es? is A. Es una escuela. You use ¿Qué? to ask what something is. For answering A, your team gets 10 points. The next question is, Isabel, ¿Eres de México? Sí, soy una alumna seria. Sí, soy mexicana. Sí, soy alta y morena. The answer to the question, Isabel, ¿Eres de México? is B. Sí, soy mexicana. Scorekeepers, please give 10 points to teams that gave the correct answer. The next question is, ¿Quién eres? Soy Manuel. Soy alto. Soy cubano. The answer to the question, ¿Quién eres? is A. Soy Manuel. You use ¿Quién? to ask who someone is. You get 10 points if you answered correctly. That's the end of round one. How did your team do? Remember, you get 10 points for each right answer. We'll give you a moment to tally the scores and get ready for the next round. Okay, now it's time for round two, which will focus on the lectura cultural in chapter one. This round will consist of three more questions, all worth 10 points each. 
In this round, you again have 10 seconds to answer each question. Teams ready? Scorekeepers ready? Then let's begin round two. The question is, ¿Quién es el autor de El Quijote? Sancho Panza, Don Quijote, Miguel de Cervantes Saavedra. The answer to the question, ¿Quién es el autor de El Quijote? is C. Miguel de Cervantes Saavedra. Teams with the correct answer get 10 points. The next question is, ¿Cómo es Don Quijote? ¿Es alto y flaco? ¿Es bajo y gordo? ¿Es de España? The answer to the question, ¿Cómo es Don Quijote? is A. Es alto y flaco. If you gave the correct answer, your team gets 10 points. The next question is, ¿Cómo es Sancho Panza? ¿Es español? ¿Es bajo y gordo? ¿Es alto y flaco? The answer to the question, ¿Cómo es Sancho Panza? is B. Es bajo y gordo. If your team answered B, you get 10 points. That's the end of round two. Now, it's time to figure your score. Remember, in round two, each correct answer is worth 10 points. Scorekeepers, total the points for round two and add them to the points from round one. We'll give you a moment to tally the scores and get ready for the next round. Now it's time for round three, which will test your listening comprehension skills. In this final round, you'll have three more questions. Each question is now worth 15 points. Again, you will have 10 seconds to come up with the correct answer. The team with the most total points at the end of round three wins today's Marathon Mental. Teams ready? Scorekeepers ready? Then let's begin round three. Listen to these teens to find out what they are like and where they are from. Soy alta y bastante bonita. ¿Cómo es Teresa? Bonita y seria, bastante graciosa, alta y bonita. The answer to the question, ¿Cómo es Teresa? is C. Alta y bonita. Scorekeepers award 15 points to teams with the correct answer. Now, let's listen to Teresa. Soy española. Madrid es una ciudad española. ¿De dónde es Teresa? ¿Es de México? ¿Es de España? ¿Es de Estados Unidos? The answer to the question, ¿De dónde es Teresa? is B. Es de España. If your team said B, you're correct for 15 points. Now, let's find out what Cristina thinks of Luis. Cristina, ¿Cómo es Luis? ¿Es un tipo serio o gracioso? Es un tipo bastante gracioso. ¿Cómo es Luis? ¿Serio? ¿Gracioso? ¿Ambicioso? The answer to the question, ¿Cómo es Luis? is B. Gracioso. Your team gets 15 points if you had the right answer. While the scorekeepers total all the final scores, you can discuss what you've learned in Chapter 1. Congratulations to the winning team in this episode of Maratón Mental. We hope you've enjoyed the challenge. Spanish can be fun. It's just a matter of asking questions and working together to find the answers. 
We hope Maratón Mental has made it fun.